Hello. So today I'm going to go through setting up a secure HTTPS connection to your Run Basic server. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use Microsoft IIS, which you can get for free if you have Windows 8.1. To get started, I'm just going to click on the Start button down here. Um, I'm using a Start menu add-on called Classic Start. Um, so you can get that if you want. I'm going to go to Programs and Features. This is going to bring up the list that are installed. In your and over here, it has Turn Windows Features On or Off. So I'm going to click on that. Once you've clicked on that, you can close out the, uh, the Programs and Features window. This is going to take a second to populate. I'm just going to make it big so I can see it. Give it a second to populate. It takes a takes a minute. So what you're going to do is you're going to find Internet Information Services. And I'm going to put a check on that. Now, it's always handy to have an FTP server, so I'm just going to hit the FTP server just because I like it. Um, we're going to put the IIS Management Console and the service. And we're going to use common, all this stuff. Um, to, to, to. Okay, so that should be good. Once I've selected those features, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. It's going to bring up this dialog, which is going to talk about how it has to find the files, and it will download them from the Microsoft website automatically. I'm just going to use Windows Update to do that. Here we are. It's taking a second. So I'm going to download the files from Windows Update. It's going to take a little bit of time here. It's going to download the files. I'm going to pause the uh, the capture right now until that's all done. So. We finished installing Microsoft IIS, so I'm going to hit close. I'm going to go and click on Start again. I'm going to go to Control Panel. And I'm going to find Administrative Tools. And in here now you're going to find Internet Information Service Manager. Okay, um, we're going to click on that. And this is going to bring up the Microsoft IIS window. When the Microsoft IIS window comes up, it should look something like this. Okay, so here we are. It's going to pop up a message. You want to get started with the Microsoft Web Platform to stay connected with the latest uh, Web Platform components. Um, I'm just going to hit the X on that because I'm going to show you how to do that manually. 
So I'm just going to hit the X. So over here on the right, you're going to see Get New Web Platform Components. So I'm going to click that. Okay. It's going to open up a link in your... So, so right now we're going to have install. We're going to use be able to proxy our traffic through IIS. So on the page, you're going to see this big green button, free download. So you're going to hit that. It's going to download. I'm going to run that. It's going to ask for permissions, so you're going to hit yes. And it's going to come up. It's going to take a while here. Hit on. You can go and click on the web platform. Up the, the style. So I'm going to search. Just in. Add. Search for A A R R app routing right here. We're gonna click on add with so now we have two things install. I'm gonna hit install. I'm going to accept a you can hit it start down. Loading. Okay. I'm going to clear. Oh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this, expand it. Out of the box, I default website. It's going to write. Don't need that. I'm going to right click on that website. Up at the top level, I'm going to go and maximize this window. I'm going to go to because you can't 
set up a, a HTTPS server without a cert on that. It's going to in here. So I'm going to a domain. Actually, I'm going to close that out. I'm going to create a self signed certificate. And I'm going to my website for this. And it's going to be for web hosting. So I'm going to hit OK. We're here and right click on sites and hit add web. Um, I'm going to call this my site. It requires a path, so I'm just going to select a path on my on my C drive. Um, it actually automatizes this internet in 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 inet pub w root um this up with and what i'm going to do is i'm going to select https now down here it's going to ask you for the ssl certificate so i'm going to select just me So now I can uh, I can I can go to the configuration app I am going to out of iOS right now because I don't see the plugins yet. So I'm going to just relaunch that. This bigger expand here we are. Oh RL re module Click on that. So what I'm gonna hit add and we're going to reverse proxy we're going to go and hit ok to enable proxy this right here Where we're going to see traffic. Okay. 
we're going to make sure that this is checked and, and hit OK. Is I'm going to run my run basic server. Give me a second to open up my folder, which has that. Oh. Twice called run base. Basic. Second to load. So that's what you should be using um, to do this. We should in HTTPS host center should bring Recording software. Okay, you've to tell you it is not. So, this is because the certificate is self signed. I'm just going to hit proceed to local host. As we're just for this is my um notice the and how we have PS in front of it um so right here you can see that there's traffic happening on there so if I were to go and hit enter. Um, and look over here, and I run. 